why am I here? It's the question every human being alive ever asked themselves at one point in their lives. It's the question our generation is dying to know, what is my purpose in life? Mark Twain once said the two most important days of your life are the day you were born and then the day you find out why. Now most of us know the answer to the first and yet most of us have no idea about the second. So friends, where in the world should we go to seek these questions when we're confused and don't know where to go? Where are the answers for these crazy questions? Because the truth is that you're not alone in these questions. The whole world wants to know why they're here, what their purpose is, and it's these questions that often lead our generation to greater anxiety, depression, loneliness, and hurt. Because we've searched for these answers in places where we'll never find them. The truth is, the answer isn't found in your appearance. It's not found in your success. The answer isn't found in your friends and not even your parents. But there's hope. Because I find that when we ask this question, why am I here? It leads us to the one who has the answer. It leads us to God, the God who is above all, in all, and through all. He is all powerful and all knowing, the one who created the whole world and holds it all together. He has the answer and we find it in the Bible. The Bible is one book that has been inspired and breathed out by God himself, written by many authors from all different places, written at many different times, yet telling one cohesive story of God's grand plan for the world, his grand plan and purpose for you. And so the Bible is where we find the answer to this question as to why are we here? In the very beginning, the Bible gives us a historical and true account of the creation of the world. So to ask, why am I here? Let's start with, how did I even get here? Genesis 1.1 says that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. From there, it goes on to explain how God created everything, the stars, the planets, the earth, and everything in it. He made vegetation and sea creatures and animals of all different kinds. And he saw that these things were good. And then God said, let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness. So God created mankind and in his own image, in the image of God, he created them. And so God being a good and perfect father made you and me in his image and likeness, meaning we are a reflection of all who God is here on earth. So to know who you are, you must know who God is, the one who created you in his likeness in order to be in a relationship with him. Now we see evidence of this all throughout the Bible from Genesis to Revelation of this grand plan God has set in motion for the world. Jeremiah 1 tells us before God formed you in the womb, he knew you, before you were born he sets you apart. Psalm 139, 13 through 14 tells us that God created our inmost being, that he knit us together in our mother's womb, that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Ephesians 2.10 tells us that we are God's masterpiece, created by Christ Jesus to do the good works that he has prepared in advance that we should walk in. Job 42.2 tells us that no purposes of God's can be thwarted. So what do all these scriptures mean? It means that you, my friends, you are on purpose. You are not an accident. You are not a result of a random collision. Do you hear that? Do you believe that? That you were created by God fearfully and wonderfully for a specific reason to do the specific things God has planned for you? So where does this leave us? See, so many people spend their whole lives searching for this feeling of purpose, fulfillment, and joy. So we search in accomplishments, in relationships, in Instagram likes, and in all this searching, we come up empty, which is why we see so many celebrities committing suicide or turning to drinking and drugs because they've discovered that money, fame, and people will never offer us the fulfillment and purpose we desire, but God does. In the Bible, it tells us that God has set eternity in the hearts of men. And so we have an eternal hole in our heart that longs for fulfillment and a hole in our heart that goes forever this way and forever that way can only be filled by a God that goes forever this way and forever that way. This life by itself is far too small and far too temporary. We are wired for something beyond this life, something bigger, something greater, and it's God himself. So when we look at God's original design, we see a world that was designed for us to be in perfect relationship with him and to enjoy him forever. All things, including you, were created by him and for him. 
So let's stop chasing, stop searching, stop giving our hearts to temporary things when God is the only one that will last forever and he is the only one that will fill our desires. So if there's one thing you hear today, let it be that the God who set all things in motion in his divine power wants a personal relationship with his creation, which is you. You are not a particle floating in earth for a meaningless life only to go to the grave, but rather in God's love, he has created you with purpose purpose and intelligent design. So why are you here? Why am I here? Why are we here? We are here to enjoy the God who created us and to reflect his character here on earth. So you have a choice. You can allow the world to define you and spend your whole life searching, or you can allow the one who created you to define you, showcase his goodness to the world, and enjoy him forever in relationship. And friends, I would beg you to choose the second because I can promise you that it'll bring greater freedom, greater abundance, and greater joy. Because the truth is I really don't have all the answers, but I do know that when I met Jesus, it changed everything. And so let's ask the hard questions, let's wrestle with it, and let's allow it to lead us to the one who has all the answers because he is good, he is holy, and he wants to be in relationship with his creation. Hey everybody, my name is Gabrielle Odom with the How to Life Movement. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and download the How to Life app. If you have any questions about anything you've heard in this video or wanna talk about how to have a relationship with Jesus Christ, please text some of our friends at 302-200-LIFE or you can chat with them online at chataboutjesus.com. We love y'all so much. Peace.